was not going to get the standing it needed. I will put... Oh, Mr. I will... Chair. Are you taking a call? Uh, yeah, I'll, Claire Mr. Curran. Chair. I'll take a call. Um, Mr. Chair, I, I'd like to speak to um, part one and of the regulatory reform bill um, again and um, take a, a little bit of issue um, with my colleague um, uh, Clayton Cosgrove. But while I support the vast bulk of what he said um, on the bill in, um, in his previous um, erudite speech, I would like to say that Labour is the party of um, uh, restorative justice and that stands for restorative justice and rehabilitation. And I think that's a really important point um, to bear in mind when we're talking about the issue of documented memory loss and, and, and the effect that that can have. And, and, re and particularly referring to 40, uh, page 16, um, 44A um, Part B, which was the point that um, my colleague Clayton Cosgrove was making around whether or not um, uh, the, the minister in charge of this bill, um, John Banks, could actually establish a procedure for the recognition of persons or classes of persons who were to carry out specified functions and activities because it was unknown whether or not he could actually recognise those people and, and whether he would have the um, memory capability to do so. Um, I think, uh, given that we know that there is um, uh, a, a phenomena known as recovered memory syndrome, um, that it is possible that he could um, actually uh, recover his memory and be able to fulfil and carry out his functions as the Minister in charge of this Act. Um, and in particular, um, referring to 44A-C, um, which is setting out the duties of recognised agencies, uh, recognised persons and recognised classes, um, and when their recognition can be suspended or withdrawn. And the bill goes on to talk a bit more about recognition and the, um, and the importance of um, recognition and recognised agencies, recognised persons, recognised classes. So um, I, I do take issue um, with what he said um, around the um, ability for uh, uh, the, the Honourable John Banks to actually recognise um, those things and, and whether or not he was able to. I'd just like to speak, um, following on from uh, my colleague, um, the Andel Zell, who uh, did chair the select committee that saw this bill through the House and did a very good job, and I'm sure that all of the erstwhile members of the Commerce Committee in the last term would agree that, um, that she did a very good job on that. Um, this bill, the, the summary um, of changes includes quite an important issue which we haven't actually discussed tonight, which is around amending the Companies Act 1993 to allow companies to choose um, whether to use electronic shareholder participation. And that, uh, I, I suppose thinking about this bill, that that particular aspect of the bill is actually quite important. Uh, and, and I think, you know, one would actually think that it would have actually meant that this bill came before the House a lot sooner than it has, because I understand that there has been a number of companies um, who have been wanting to use elect an electronic means uh, to cast a vote by shareholders, and, but because um, of the, uh, their inability to do so under this le the previous legislation, they haven't been able to. And, and just to set out the issue with that, the Companies Act 1993 did not permit companies to use electronic technology for shareholders to vote during meetings, and nor did the Act permit shareholders to elect to receive notices and other documents from the company electronically. And, and the impact of this bill, um, which was, um, uh, as Leanne Dalzell has said, was actually came out of the uh, regulatory uh, moves, changes that came from the pe previous government, um, that will enable companies to use electronic technology for shareholders to vote during meetings. Now, this is 2012, and one would think that uh, we could have sorted this issue out a couple of years ago, at least. And uh, you've got to ask yourself, I wonder how many 
uh, companies have actually um, been um, precluded from from actually using uh, that mechanism to to get their business happening in a more timely um, and easily um, managed fashion. And and it. Uh, I move that the question be now put. The, qu the question is, the question be now put. Those of that opinion will say aye. Aye. Contrary, no. The ayes have it. The first question are the Minister's amendment set out on SOP number 20. Uh, the question is that the amendments be agreed to. Those of that opinion will say aye. Contrary, no. The ayes have it. The question now is that part one, as amended, stand part. Those of that opinion will say aye. Contrary, no. The eyes have it. The question now is that part two stand part. Clear. Clear. So no calls. I will put